Okay, Shields, welcome to 620 North Wilson. I'm going to give you a quick tour. Don't worry, we'll give you the code. This is the largest beanbag in the world. We're not sure what to do with it yet. But it's pretty versatile, very cozy. Bob and I are debating about the tile fireplace. This is a sleeper for one, but I don't think you'll need that. Small coat closet. For first, Artwork. I got this in Ennis. It's an original, actually a sign print, I think. Artist nearby. We got it framed here too. See the upstairs for soon. So here's the red room. This is where Bob does his by time. And there's a little closet we haven't really made use of yet. kitchen is all that you could ever dream of and more. It's really nice. Started to fill it out with dishes and pots and pans and stuff. Although we're never here long enough to cook, but we've cooked a couple meals. This we've been focusing on as our lounge, hang out, have coffee, watch movies room. Turned out pretty well. I'll give you a good view of this. The uh, furniture is made in Montana, near here. This is the table. This here's Lazy Boy with fancy movie style reclining action. Then, hmm, pretty foggy and cloudy, but you'll see those mountains soon enough in the distance there. And that big grassy field is the dog park. That house back there is where I'll be sleeping when I visit. It's our guest house. All right, let's go upstairs because I know I have to keep this somewhat brief. We think these are fun, these are oars. And basically the whole upstairs is just like a bedroom. Um, to the left is where mom and dad will be sleeping. This is a king bed in here in the front of the house. And then we've got twin beds for River and Willow. You can put them wherever you want, but we have one here. These are little closets, kind of unusual, but they work really well. There's another one there. There's actually a washer and dryer upstairs and in the basement. This one's really small. And then here's the other twin bed. And this is the master bed. And the master bath. Tub. The showers are fun in this house. Just kind of walk in, there's no enclosure. Very nice. And then you can go out on the deck from here. All right, I'll shut this off and I'll go in the yard for the next video. Okay, as we leave the TV room and go to the back of the house, there's actually a full bath here. I guess they call it a three quarters because it has a shower. So this is actually the Bathroom that everybody uses except the master bath, if that makes any sense. Pretty neat touches everywhere. And then one of these walk-in showers again. So nothing. So that's probably where I guess since the girls will do their showering. And then just kind of a little storage and utility here. And then we'll go to the back. Oh, I know you're gonna recognize this.
So here's the deal with the backyard. There are a thousand little things in here. I am really looking forward to you just discovering it all. And uh, we need some stuff cleaned up, but for the most part, enjoyed and celebrated and, I don't know, repositioned, like stuff's fallen over and gardens are not you know, full. So we just need you to play with all the stuff and get it going for us. This looks like it had a hard winter. But then this guy here looks fine. So you get the idea. All right, let me give you a view. This is one side. See how interesting that fencing is up there? And then everything's just interesting all over the place. There's a decent grassy area for some small length retrieving and whatnot. And there's actually an old outhouse there that's used as a shed. That area there might have been an old hot tub, so we're probably going to just want grass there eventually. Anyway, it's going to be quite a playland here for you. And then our little fireplace there. And we'll head back to the back house. Or this greenhouse. Probably going to need your help selling that because we don't plan to use it. And we'd like to park a car there. Okay. Without further ado, we'll go to the back house. This is just so many little things to look at, and they're upside down and on their side, and they just need to be put someplace. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, we haven't done anything in here really, but we got a bed today. So we'll sleep there when you guys are here. And, uh, oh, you know what? We'll probably want your help kind of figuring out what to do. I'm thinking uh, the twins, when you're done, will go back here. So that's a place for like a mom and dad kind of deal. And then the bunks, we'll put the twins into a bunk assembly there, I think. Maybe there. And then when you look behind me, there's like a stand for the TV, so like a family could hang out and watch the morning news or whatever, so we'll probably keep that there. There's the heater. And then here, there's a small bathroom with a shower. And there's a kitchen, but it's not full. Like, it doesn't have a stove. Because it was just really like a snack area for the artiste that wants to world here. All right, I think that gives you a pretty good idea. Yeah, me too.